So do you have a website that looks like it's straight out of the 90s or maybe you are totally embarrassed to send your prospective clients to your website because it looks like a pile of poo. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the five things that you need to include on the homepage of your website. And before we get started, I'm just gonna ask you to do one quick thing. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so that you get notified when I post videos like this every single Thursday. So if you are a coach working in the online health and wellness space, I will teach you how to build your business on this channel. Okay, so I have probably changed my website at least five times in my business over the course of the past six years. I have learned a lot from all these edits I've made and I recently worked with a website expert and branding expert to completely redo my website. So at this point, I have a really good idea of what your homepage should include in order for you to be proud of your website but also give prospective clients the right information when they land on your site. Okay, so number one, it's really important that the most important information about what you do is above the fold. So what above the fold means is that people don't have to scroll anywhere to get it. So if they're on desktop, they go to your website and it's right there. If they're on mobile, they go to your website and again, it's right there. Now, what you wanna put in this sort of above the fold spot is a photo of you and what you do and who you help. So for example, if you're a, an anxiety coach, it'll be a picture of you and you'll say, I help men in their 30s um, reverse anxiety holistically or something like that. And the point of that is for anyone who is landing on your website, they should know immediately if the website is for them or not. So you really want this polarizing vision above the fold. So people are either like, I'm in, I'm out, right? There's none of this, mm, not sure, who is this for? I'm confused, what does this person do? You don't want that, you want it to be really polarizing. And so you basically wanna send people in one of two directions. So that's tip number one, and that is the above the fold. Number two is to put your free offer just below that. So your free offer can also be on the above the fold section or it can be just a little bit below, but this is gonna be your freebie, your lead magnet, your free opt-in, whatever you wanna call it. And this is where you give away something of high value in exchange for that person's email address. The most important thing that you do in your business is build your email list and people don't really wanna give it up for free these days, right? They don't wanna just give up their email address. The inbox is a massive stress. People get hundreds of emails. And so in order for people to be willing to give you their email address, you gotta make it good. So make it very high quality, super juicy, and once you've done that, you can have your little opt-in to get your freebie and to get people onto your email list. The next thing that's really important to have on your website homepage are testimonials, right? I know that when I buy any product on Amazon or wherever I'm buying it, I am always going straight to the reviews. I wanna see what other people have said about the product and I will actually make the decision to purchase based off of the reviews. Now that's gonna be true for the coaching industry as well. People wanna see that you have helped other people. They wanna see that you've worked with clients, that you've gotten people the result that they are that you are promising them, right? If you're brand new, that's okay, you can skip this part, but it's really important that as you work with clients, you make a really concerted effort to get testimonials. Something that I find works really well is actually creating a form. You can use something like Google Forms, that's totally free, where you just ask people a few questions so that you're not just entirely leaving it up to them to write something, because sometimes people just don't know what to write. So the thing I love about the form is you guide people through and you tell them exactly what you want to know. The other thing with testimonials is sometimes you got to give away a little bit of bribery or you got to do a little bit of bribery. So you might offer people something of value in exchange for a testimonial, you might offer them another session, you might offer them some product that you have, but initially because testimonials are so important and sometimes they can be hard to get, try to make it worth people's while to give you those testimonials and then you can put those on your homepage. All right, so do you have stress about your website and building your website? If you do, like this video and let me know. Okay, so the next thing you need to have on your homepage is a quick about you. And this usually really confuses people, but 
it's not really about you. It's about them. Okay. So any about me page is really more about them. So yes, you can tell your story. You can say a little bit about yourself, but really what you want to be saying on your homepage is how you can help them. So what do you do and why should they care? How can you help them? The about you is your mission, how you help them and why you're passionate about it. So make it about them as much as possible. It should be intriguing. It should make them want to spend a little bit more time on your website. The final thing that you want on your homepage is the link to your program or programs. Maybe you have a few different options for programs or maybe you just have one, but this is a really good place to talk a little bit about your program. Please do not list the features. So features would be like the intake session, the follow-up appointments, the lab tests, the videos, the Facebook group, whatever, whatever is included. People don't really care about features and that's not what sells a program, right? Everyone out there who's a coach has a program with features. You need to tell them why this program is going to help them get their desired outcome. So for example, if you help solve people's anxiety, you want to tell them how this program is unlike other programs out there and it will actually help them reverse or heal their anxiety. So focus on the benefit and the outcome. And you just want to do a quick blurb and then you can link to a page that gives a bit more of a comprehensive overview of those programs. Okay, so that's basically what you want to include on a homepage. So remember the most important information, who you are and what you do is above the fold with the free opt-in to get onto your email list. You wanna pepper some testimonials if you have them throughout that page. You wanna have a little bit about you, a little bit about your programs, and that's really all you need. Now, if you're brand new and you're super confused about the website, you're trying to build it yourself, I actually recommend that you don't do that at all. You can use a tool called Canva. Love Canva. If you don't already use it, definitely go get it because it's, it's a game changer. And with Canva, what you can do is actually create a PDF doc that basically has all these components that we just talked about, but it's in a PDF document. And then you can use Google Drive or something like Dropbox to host it. And then when people want more information, you just link to the PDF, which basically just looks like a website, it's just not. And you can utilize that in the meantime while you build your website. Because if you guys have been following me for any time at all, I would actually recommend that you start by investing in a website. Your money and your time can be utilized in a lot better places uh, that will actually help you get clients and that's not necessarily gonna be the website. So if you're brand new and you don't have a website, start with the PDF. And if you're a little bit further along and you're ready to start building on a website, definitely make sure to include these things on your homepage. And if you like this video, let me know by liking it, subscribing to my channel and share it with all your business besties. And thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video on Thursday.